Like of all monkeys you could start with, this is uh, this is not the guy to pick. He's even just wait for him to do his thing and then you just glide right by. Pretty sure he doesn't even do any damage. So that just makes the first round incredibly easy. And then we have even more money to start with. And now they have a plane. So now we're actually a threat. So we're just gonna put a few things into health and then a regrow right away. And then we'll also get a little bit of speed on our side. And this should keep us going for a little while as long as we make sure that the plane's darts don't fall where we're about to go. And we can just glide right through here without problem even if we get frozen. And then we get to round three and now they have a dart monkey so it's actually a problem now so let's buy a little more health and the dart monkey is able to pop me pretty much all the time which sucks unless i juke him out like that but he's also probably in range of the frozen monkey so i have to time this even more so yep that's what i thought but that's another wave completed and now they have two planes fantastic so let's increase our regrow rate because i feel like we're gonna need it in a little bit also someone said you could just walk across the map uh, no. No, you can't. But that's okay, because I should be able to get through this again, no problem. Giving the Dark Monkey the jukes. And woo. Uh-huh. You're not gonna get me this time. Oh, you got me. And he got me again. Stop doing that. Just gotta get through here. I'm not worried about the planes at all. And now they have attack shooter way over there. This should be no problem. I think I'll get a little more health and then a little more speed. And I can get through most of this, okay? Dar the attack shooter hits me every once in a while, but... Not too much to cause concern. Because once it gets out here, the tax shoot low. So I can just stay here all day and still not be at risk. Except for the plane, so I'm going to keep going. And just carefully give the monkey the jukes. He doesn't know where to... Okay, he knows. Every time I think I got him figured out, he's like, Aha, I got you. Thankfully, my regrow rate is fairly decent just in time for the next wave and ah, we got a got we have a tax shooter right at the spawn why would you do this thankfully this little red box is protecting me and i think it'll get my regrow rate a little better and a little more better half a layer every second is decently fast i think enough to keep me safe from the likes of the tax shooter even if i can just dodge him regularly the planes are going to be a bit of an issue once again upgrade but right now i don't have to worry about that and i actually just Bamboo's with the tack monkey entirely. Oh, not the tack monkey, the dart monkey, but he still got me. They're learning, it seems like. And the plane got an upgrade, just as I was worried about. So I think to get through this, we're gonna get more speed. A speed of nine should be good for us. Oh yes, this is very fast. Now I just have to get through this shower of darts. And it might be a good idea to get one more health upgrade the next round, just so I can no longer have to worry about the frozen monkey. But... We made it through that one, and now they have a cannon. So I'll get myself up to zebra mode and put more money into speed, just so I can get through all of this quickly. Even though the, you know, the cannon isn't really a threat to me anyway. Doesn't mean I want to stick around though, especially since they pop my layers, but I still get the explosion protection. I just need to keep the frozen protection for the frozen monkey. And I didn't realize a cannon could shoot at me going around that corner. But we're okay to just scoot on through here. No real worries at all. And another clean getaway. So now there's a dart monkey on that bend. It almost looks like he's manning the attack shooter, but I'll get my speed up to 10 and then put more money into regrow just to keep myself on the extra side of safe. And I actually managed to juke that monkey entirely. Very good. So we'll get through here. Game popped a few times, but not enough to cause concern because my regrow rate is keeping up very good. Now, I don't see what's different about this one yet. I am not sure there's anything different, but there should be something different. Unless it's on that side of the house, I usually don't go back there. I think I'll just proceed as if nothing has happened because I don't need to spend money this wave. I really wish I knew what was different, though. Uh, hello? Is there anybody back here? Is there no one? There's no one. So what's different? Very interesting. But if I don't need to be worried, then I'll just finish the wave and see what else there is. Oh, there's another cannon over there. And I do have 2,000 money. I'm feeling really good about things right now. So I think I can get away with dumping 2,000 money into Moab health. And then using the money I have left over to get another health layer underneath that. So this should keep us going strong for a good while. At least until the second cannon, I think. <laughs> And it, somehow the Moab is juking out the cannon. It's a little strange, but um, I'll take it. And now they're hitting me directly. As long as I can juke out the cannons, those take out a lot of health. But now I just have to work my way through all of this with really no way of dodging because the Moab is super slow. But I'm able to get through most of this still intact, which I'm a big fan of. And the Moab doesn't seem to get slowed down by snow either. So this is going to be looking very good for us. And making it through that wave, we get an upgraded dart monkey over there. So let's get the regrow to be a good solid one per second. Oh, I can't. Okay, we'll just get more health then. And then just proceed on as normal, making sure the cannon misses every single shot I can. And it made it look the other way, which is kind of surprising. So you're 
you're just gonna keep missing, but then you're gonna hit me here. Uh-huh. But then you're gonna keep missing, and then I just make a clean getaway. And now this star monkey might be a problem because it can hit me three times as I run right next to it. But I'm actually staying intact as a moab so i think this is another successful win for the moab i like it oh and now both planes are the super bombers i kind of want to save my money for the moab health upgrade so i'm just gonna go through this round without buying anything and i forgot about the cannon right away but woo <laughs> he just launches bombs in the middle of nowhere as long as you can just keep doing that i think we'll be okay and that bomb just went over into nowhere. Okay, took a bit more hits that time than I wanted, but we should be able to continue. Just gotta press forward as long as I can. And the result is more or less the same. What am I saying? It's entirely the same. So the Moai makes it through this time. And that attack shooter got an upgrade. But now I do have enough for the health upgrade, so I can grab that. Now I can get the regrow to one per second. And with a much better looking Moab, we'll continue. Past the attack shooter, which is now impossible to dodge. Resisting the cannon shots as we go. And now Nothing's really changed about the ones over here as far as like difficulty. So I can just go on as I do. And we make it to round 15. And this tax shooter got an upgrade right by me. And I want to see a nice even tens across the board. So I'll just get that really quick and save my money for the next Moab upgrade. I really can't dodge both of the cannons at the same time, but I can reduce my chances of getting hit down to one. And I got hit quite a few times there, so that's not good. But I can get through here simple enough as it is. Oh, and now I lost some Moab protection. Okay, so all those cannon hits really do add up. But the outcome stays the same. And I can buy another health upgrade. I want to get through as much of this with, with the Moab as I can. Oh, and there's an upgrade dart monkey right there. Kind of surprised this one didn't get an upgrade. So I'm just going right for the super units now. But getting through the cannon field makes it easy. Because this game really doesn't have any units specifically for taking out Moabs. At least not yet anyway. And that is is okay to get through. But now there's another cannon on that bend. So it's more likely I'll lose the Moab protection over there. Although I can get through here pretty much oh, okay. Oh, and I dodged both cannons there. Oh, but that one blew up on my feet. Okay, never mind. There's really not much to cause concern right now yet. Though I guess we'll see how I fair against this cannon. Uh, so it will juke him okay. Very much so. And, oh, that one missed. Ha, ah, clean getaway over here. Ha ha. And then hopefully I have enough money for a new Moab upgrade. Oh, I do. Oh, just in time. That cannon got an upgrade. So let's just go ahead and do that. And look at that. We have a pristine looking Moab. Totally un damaged at all. I think this is good news for us. And I have a little money left over. So let's just get more speed. Because I guess the Moab does respond well to speed upgrades. I can already kind of tell the difference, actually. And we'll just get through the, this corner. All the way over here to this souped up cannon, which fires a lot more frequently. But it's still dodgeable. As long as you just angle yourself like you do, and then... Hopefully it doesn't have the range it used to and it doesn't. I'm just glad they haven't put any units on this ending stretch here. So what I'm wondering is how far this Moab health will get me. Like is the next upgrade the damaged red Moab? I think that'd be fun to see. But now I have to get past this upgraded cannon, which is a lot more uh, hitting its target than before. And also getting stuck on the corner is not good for my health. But we're okay for the most part. I think we'll be able to make it through this because this cannon is very good at missing. Oh, and it hit me, but not enough to get me out of the Moab state. So that is that completed. And now that cannon got an upgrade. I think they're learning what's doing the most damage against me. But now I can get another Moab health upgrade. Ooh, yes, the red one. And let's just uh, get more speed and more health. Now this should be a lot better for me, even as damaged as it looks. Now I just hopefully can keep it alive for longer than this first corner. Oh, no, never mind. That's okay, because I still have a perfect blue Moab to get through this. At least until this one starts to inevitably show damage. And just rounding the corner, kind of Tokyo drifting the balloon, just so I can keep the optimum uh, speed to get past that cannon. And now we have three upgraded cannons? Is that what's different? I think it is. But I definitely want more Moab health, and if nothing really changes for me to get through this, then I won't buy anything. Just gonna keep going forward like we do, being careful not to get stuck on the corner, juking out the cannons as we do from that, and then we just keep going past this one, and getting past this cannon, gently rounding the corner, and going on the straightaway, so it doesn't really make a difference about dodging or not, because the cannon's gonna hit me either way, and we clear that round with really no much difference in problem. Oh, great, super monkey. So this is where it starts to get dangerous. Time to get more Moab health and more speed. So let's see how we do. As long as I can keep the cannon hits to a minimum, I'll just do what I can with the super monkey because he just hits the Moab every single time. Thankfully though, I can get past him like that and he'll shoot at me like this. 
with really no difference in how it turns out. But since they're starting to bring out the super monkeys, I worry about what they're going to put down on this end. I guess we'll find out in the next wave. Two attack shooters at the beginning. <laughs> okay, then. And I do want to save money, but I will get one more speed upgrade just to get through things quicker. Other than that, I should be okay to continue as I have been. The beginning attack shooters really don't do anything. This cannon is hitting me more than I like. I'm already down to the blue Moab. And the cannons are really good this time for whatever reason. But I'll just absorb all the super monkey hits and then i might lose a moab layer this time i feel like that's what's gonna happen yep there it is but i'm able to continue as i have been so now they got another cannon right there and i do have enough for another health upgrade very good just gotta be more careful about the cannons this time around especially since there's two of them that's shooting at me i lose the red layer in pretty much the same place so as long as i can keep the blue layer going i should be okay but that cannon staring me dead in the face is kind of a problem with that. And I am losing the Moab layer a lot sooner. But this extra speed helps me get through pretty much everything else without issue. And okay, they got... Wow, that's a, that's a sun temple right there. And it is just constantly shooting at me. Oh boy. And it's at the corner that I lose the most protection. This is an issue. Okay, time to dump a lot of upgrades. I'm thinking putting most of it into speed so I can get really good speed numbers there. I can get one more upgrade with that. And then let's get more health. And then we'll see how this goes. I have a pretty speedy Moab right now. So as long as I can keep the shots going in wrong directions and the building also helps look at those rays going out into the horizon wow and did they lose a cannon over here they did i guess they lot oh okay frozen monkey also got an upgrade hopefully that doesn't slow down the moab i just gotta keep jumping to keep the <laughs> sun temple hits to a minimum yikes a do okay i think oh gosh okay i lost the moab layer but i can i'm able to get through this ah Okay, I can hide over here until they regenerate. Oh boy. Haven't had to deal with that before. Hi, how are ya? I think going around the turns is gonna be the best thing for me instead of trying to stare down the sun temple straight away. So let's just casually get through this, hopefully. He's, un he's not able to hit me enough and I make a clean getaway. Hey, I won! <laughs> Completed 25 rounds of that. So the Moabs are able to help you get through a lot. I guess next time we'll have to see how they do on the hard difficulty. Anyway, thank you for watching this one sub to intern i'd also like to thank the channel members including bread corby farm dakota c calvin k mr cripple one master roshi ancient elixir one destructo man bladed archer cowboy donamoto deviant x muffin suffer lucas s leb and splatter sacks 